Good morning, church. I hope everyone is doing well this morning and you are feeling energized for the day ahead. It is most likely that you are going to work today. And quite often it's easy to just feel like as you walk into work, you kind of lose all sense of God or good even maybe. And so I really hope that today's word around trust actually impacts your workplace today and you yourself in your workplace. So I'm going to be sharing from Ephesians 4 verses 1 to 2 with you today. Lead a life worthy of your calling for you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle, be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. So, you know, we're looking at what we must be doing within the workplace to honour God and to demonstrate the God that we believe in to people that are probably there feeling a little bit hopeless. I mean, imagine having to go to work every day and to fight the fight without having the good, the God, right? So, you know, it's just so important that we demonstrate that in the workplace so that we bring hope right? That's the point. But for a lot of us, we might be thinking, you know, work is work. But really, actually, when you walk into work, you are, Christ is within you. That's what he says. He he is within us. So actually, it's not just work. It's God at work that you also happen to be at, right? And so we need to demonstrate that God as if he was there, because he is there. And one of the aspects there is trust. You are Christ's ambassador at Tesco's or at another supermarket or at your school or at your office, whatever it is that you do, you are Christ's ambassador. Now, I own and work in a gym. So I literally it actually helps me visualization. Let's just put it out there. I have to visualize Jesus being in the gym. Now, for some of you, that'll be easy to visualize. He is there with me every single day. And so I have to, in order to understand how I must demonstrate trust to my colleagues, to my clients, I have to imagine Jesus was there. What would Jesus do, right? A, he would lift heavy weights, but B, he would be trustworthy. He would be trustworthy with information, with relationships, with conversations. He would probably be the person that everybody would feel like they would just need to be around, whether they need to talk or not talk. They, He probably won't be the person that people will go to to get something back when they want to gossip because that's what people do when they try to gossip about something that's happening. They look for the person that's going to respond the best to their news and so Jesus probably wouldn't be that and so we probably shouldn't be that Jesus would show up on time every time he would be authentic he would be the himself every single time he showed up he would get the work done and not only would he get the work done he would probably he could have been trusted to go the extra mile every single time he would stand up for people that need to be stood up for and he wouldn't be the person that would try to create drama in the workplace or in any place right and so that is our perfect example that's all we need to do show up preferably on time get the work done and when possible go the extra mile be patient stand up for the downtrodden not engage in gossip and then you know leave it there and also trust that God will also help you in that too so we can be people that are trustworthy in the workplace this week by following Jesus's example and he called you to be in that place whether you feel like he did or not this is a part of his plan and so you can trust him to help you if you're feeling like that is not within your wheelhouse right now he will build he's building you and strengthening you so that you can be that person so try and look at your day ahead what can I do today to build the trust between myself and my colleagues or my clients today just like Jesus would okay God is with you today at work stacking shelves filing paperwork so let's show up and let's do it let's do it good have a great day guys and um yeah 
Love you loads. <laughs>